Currently, there are 315 millet spread across the country. Out of this number, only 10 are certified to have the full complement of equipment to process grade A rice to match imported brands. Majority of the mills are small and medium scale single pass rubber roller mills with the capacity to process just 500 metric tons per month. Most of these rice mills process parboiled rice due to limited equipment. As the campaign for the consumption of Ghana rice intensifies, Ghanaians are now craving for more Ghana rice. But the millers fear they might not be able to meet the demand due to their limitations. Currently, we have a target of producing just about 500 bags of rice every month. However, the demand is huge and we need to adjust to meet the demand. It requires financing. We don't have sufficient financing to be able to buy from the farmers in large volumes, to be able to produce and then to sell onto the markets. So in a nutshell, that's really the situation we find ourselves in. It's a great opportunity, but it also requires more resources in terms of financing to be able to meet the demand that the customers are giving us. So definitely we need more machines, better machinery to be able to give customers the quality they desire. Aside from this, the millers say the low moisture content in the paddy rice supplied by farmers is affecting their business as some lose up to 90% of their investment. But the farmers attribute this to the lack of combined harvesters to harvest the rice in the right way. The mill is a chain from elevator to this tuna, this tuna to the mill, but from the mill to a grader. But currently we don't have a grader. We do manual grading. I've sent two of my women to be doing it, the manual grading, just to improve in the quality. We need a, a color sorter, a machine that takes out foreign materials and then improve in the quality and also can turn over our work. Because currently we do manual sorting. So if machine is going to sort it, maybe mach instead of manual sorting, 100 bucks, machine can sort more than 1,000 bucks. So in terms of large quantity, the quality is poor. Like if you come for us to supply you, in fact, to be frank, we can't sort everything before we do the bargain. But if we are able to get the color sorter, it will help us so that there can be a turnover. Project manager for the Ghana Agra Rice Project, Ebo Graham, however, says government is in talks with financial institutions to provide credit facilities for the rice millers to upgrade their factories to produce more to meet local demand. Currently, we are negotiating and having discussions, let me put it this way, having discussions with the banks. These are private sector initiatives. So the banks need bankable business plans for them to work with and also good off-taker agreements and also for uh, the millers to be able to upgrade their mills to meet the demand that is coming out of them. And there are other uh, um, risk incentives in the system that we've encouraged the banks to look at it for them to be able to support these millers. When it comes to collateral issues and all those things, some of the millers will find it very tough in bringing it out. But these are banks that are also being a bit sensitive to the national call about the rice gaps in the system. 